Meanwhile, I know it's the eve of New Year's Eve, and that means at least one million people are expected to ring in the new year in below freezing temperatures in New York City's Times Square tomorrow night. And you know the NYPD, well, they've been stepping up security to make sure all of the visitors are safe and sound as they wait and then watch that famous ball drop. Brian Yennis has been, well, he's been brave in the snow and the frigid cold all day, mingling with the visitors in uh, Times Square. He even saw a proposal and is with us, uh, with everybody else who's hanging out and having a good time just a few blocks from here. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Hi, Eric. Yeah, I can report that I haven't seen any more proposals, but I'm sure more will happen. That seems to be what people like to do in Times Square during this time of year because it's so festive. Look at the swarm of people. I mean, it is a sea of thousands of people, tourists from all over. Obviously, the NYPD doing everything they can to secure this event. This is going to be the most secure this event has ever been. They say there is no specific credible threat to Times Square or to New York City, but nonetheless, there have been two terror attacks in as many months, and so all the precautions have been taken. There's going to be multiple heavy weapons teams, more than they've had in previous years. There will be uh, vaporwake dogs, specifically trained to work together to sniff out bombs in the air and on people. Everybody will be checked twice. Sand trucks will be used to form a uh, perimeter to protect against a potential vehicular attack. And you know what? NYPD officers have been giving a new tactical bulletin, uh, uh, reminding folks, uh, reminding the officers of what to look for when it comes to a suicide bomber given what happened on the subway just a few weeks ago with an attempted suicide bomb underneath Times Square. But besides security, well, there's also one more thing, actually, when it comes to security. Look at that hotel. That's the Marriott overlooking Times Square. They are now adding officers in buildings and hotels and office towers overlooking Times Square for the first time. Every single one will have more officers because of what happened in Las Vegas on October 1st. Other than security, though, weather is being talked about. 10 degrees is the forecast here uh, tomorrow night. That'll be the second coldest New Year's Eve in New York City's history. The first was in 1917, one degree, and the second was 1962, 11 degrees. So if the forecast holds true, it'll break a record. We spoke to organizers about whether or not they believed this would keep people from coming out. When it's warmer, people come out earlier in the day to get their good spot. My guess is that this year, people will come out a little bit later in the day, closer to 4 or 5 or 6 p.m. They'll still have to wait a while, so they'll have to really bundle up. And of course, we'll warm your spirits with some great entertainment. Yeah, no bathrooms, uh, no heat lamps. You are on your own. You have to bundle up. And again, they did the ball drop test. The preparations are continuing today. One last note, uh, there will be tons of performances tomorrow night, including Mariah Carey. Everyone will remember what happened last year, a debacle of a, uh, <laughs> of a performance last year. She blamed technical glitches. ABC blamed, well, her for not showing up to rehearsals. She'll get a chance at redemption tomorrow night. We'll see what happens. All of that here tomorrow night, and be sure to catch all the festivities here on the Fox News Channel. Jesse, Kennedy, and I, and everybody else will be out here. Uh, it'll be a great time tomorrow night, guys. All right. No, I don't like that no bathrooms. I know they hang out for hours, but, you know, <laughs> you were mentioning, uh, I mentioned earlier, a proposal. We've got some tape of that uh, to show you. There actually was a yep. proposal. Our cameras captured it. Tell us about the couple. What, what happened? <laughs> That's right. So Rudy and his buddies came out here. They set up a whole thing. They started dancing. He got on a knee and proposed to Jennifer. The two are from the Bronx, a beautiful young couple. They both, uh, she said yes, obviously. Tons of tourists didn't know what was happening until, until it happened. And it was a great event. We were there with our cameras. Uh, hey, look, hey, the people like to start off the new year, and that's, uh, that's a great way to start it off. I, I'll oh, say, wonderful. hey, Brian, so uh, pretend yeah. I am Wonder Woman. I have a golden lasso. I'm going to wrap it around you. You have to tell the truth. Would you be out there if you were not working? Would you be in Times Square if you were not working? Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, it's, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, but I just, I couldn't do it. It's going to be two degrees out here below zero with the wind chill. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, but yeah. I, I admire people that have traveled here from all over the world. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, if you, have, you have to do it at least once yeah. in a lifetime if you can. But the no bathroom thing right. doesn't work that's, for me. It's, the that's bu it's a bucket list me. thing. But, you know, we no are right down the street, either. so easy for us to say, oh, yeah, we yeah. wouldn't do it. It's a yeah. great thing to do. You have to do it. <laughs> okay, bye, Brian. Thank you. Right. Watch tomorrow night.